What's going on guys? It's Tony here from Rollo Details and today I'm here with Chris from G Technic. What's up guys? So today we're gonna teach you guys how to protect your wheels, how to apply ceramic coating on your wheels step by step. So let's do it. Let's do it. So first things first, you've got two, two parts to the wheel obviously. You got your rubber and then you got your wheel itself. So with that being said, you've got two products necessarily that you're going to use to get everything prepped so that way we can get it, the surface fully decontaminated and then get it ready for your ceramic coating. And so, what products are we going to be using? So you? first up right here, we've got W2, which is a, one of our multi-purpose cleaners. Okay. Um, this is a very strong product. So this product, you can dilute all the way up to 100 to 1. So as a detailer, that's a very nice value, the fact that you can dilute this product down so much. Now, just to show the effects of how strong it is, we are gonna use it full strength. Okay. Um, so just because we don't have another bottle to mix up with. Okay. Um, but it's going to brown this tire like you've never seen. Okay. So this is great product for all your rubber, all your trim prep, if you're gonna do like a trim coating or obviously your wheel coating and then that sort of thing. So this is a very aggressive all-purpose cleaner that you can use on many different substrates and surfaces. And then you also have your iron fallout, which is W6. Now a W6, what I think is very important about this product that stands out compared to our competitors, it's a, it's a triple function product. So okay. you've got an iron fallout remover attacking the embedded metals in the surface and then you have an acid rain surfactant, which helps attack some of those etchings from the acid rain. And then you also have an anti-corrosion function. So that helps with the rust buildup on your rotors and things like that, preventing it from coming back and being as bad, as dirty, as rusty looking, right? So very, very cool products that it has all those extra functions in it and I feel are very often overlooked. So this product not only can you use in your wheels, use on your paint, full decon, on every surface. So this is safe on all your different surfaces. Awesome, so awesome. So yeah, like you say, I done used this one before, like in the in the paint, obviously, you know, to do all my decontamination stuff, you know, especially on the back of oh, the yeah. vehicles, that yeah. thing. Yeah, and it works really, it's, really good. Especially a white, a white vehicle, yes. right? That's always the funnest one to get on film with an iron fallout remover. Yes, exactly. It's so easy to see. Um, and people love to see that reaction, right? The other thing that I, that I kind of like about that product is the thickness, that yes. it stays in the area. It's not kind of running down and yeah, that type of thing. I call it a gel. Yeah, it's almost yeah. like a gel. And, and I love that it has that cling, right? Gotcha. That cling to the surface, because that's really what's going to break down those metals and those iron deposits that are okay. stuck on there. So that's really, really key. Um, you can technically dilute it, I will say. There are some guys out there who will dilute W6. Okay. Um, I'm not a fan of it personally, but mess around with your dilutions, you know, mm -hmm. see what works best for you in your shop and in your environment. Um, you know, there's not one, you know, there's not a wrong way to do it. Okay. Right? So, um, but obviously you don't want to cut it too much because then you're taking away That's all right. those extra abilities that it has. So before we get to it more too much more in depth yeah. let's just kind of jump right into <laughs> okay, it okay let's do it so we're gonna grab like a pressure washer and yeah. let's grab we're the gonna pressure start washer. by rinsing off this wheel yep so let's do it this is gonna be like hands-on and if you guys got any questions we are at the base in car supplies warehouse here at chicago so if you guys need anything like if you guys want to come over here and visit them they have it all so all make right sure to show up all right nice little rinse and i like to do the iron fallout remover first no rhyme or reason other than just i like to do it first you don't need a lot that's about it with that concentration and being so thick and jelly, just kind of let it do its thing. As many of you have seen on Jason's channel, just let it eat, right? So that's yep. the biggest thing with G-Technic is the, the product will do the work for you a lot of times. Yeah. So just kind of let it sit for a little bit. You can already start to see some of your iron coming off the wheel there. You can see the browning on the tire starting to come out. Yeah. So pretty easy, right? You can't really, exactly. you can't really mess it up. Um, 
And again, I still have a full bottle, right? Yeah. So think about going to AutoZone or all these other places and getting a wheel cleaner. I know growing up, I did it and I'd use an entire bottle to clean a set of wheels. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and now here I am using five, six sprays on a wheel. That, that's right. And that's money. That's money yeah. in the bank. You're saving time, you're saving money, you're saving products. So using quality products that do the job for you is really, really key. And I think G-Technic does a really good job simplifying that yeah. for the customers. And then you're gonna be scrubbing <clears throat> less. Yeah, absolutely. Which that's a good thing. <laughs> so I like to scrub my, uh, my rubber on the tire first. So with W2, it's not really a, a foamy product necessarily, okay. um, especially if you don't di dilute it. So if you dilute it down a little bit with some water, it'll definitely foam up more. Um, if you're looking for more of a foam action, G-Technic does have another multi-purpose cleaner called W5. W5. So W5 is a little bit less concentrated than the W2. So you can dilute that one up to 10 to one. So that is a citrus all-purpose cleaner. Um, so it also gives it that nice smell. Whereas okay. this one is a much more aggressive cleaner and that sort of thing. So what I typically tell people is with the W2, I'll use it on my wheel wells. And then like if I'm doing a trim coating, I'll use it for my trim coating prep. Okay. And with W5, I'm typically using it on the tire because I like that foaming more. And then on top of that, I'll also use it for my decons and for coating maintenance with W5 because it's less aggressive. Got it. Um, so let's jump into the wheel. So you don't have to use any like, like soap or whatever, you know, or stuff like that. You can just use it like that, right? So I like to use it straight up like this to start. And then I always like to neutralize my surface when I'm done. So if it's me personally, I'm usually doing all my chemicals first and then at the end I'll use like my shampoo something okay. like G wash which is pH neutral to make sure that you know all those chemicals are off the surface and it's a totally clean surface awesome this wheel isn't actually that dirty to be honest so it's not that bad <laughs> no it's really not <laughs> So when you do your wheels, would, uh, you got all these brushes or what, what type of brushes do you like to use? I mean, I got pretty much the same stuff. Same stuff? Yeah, I got, yep, I got this one cool, here, cool. which is one of my favorite ones. I got this one, the work stuff brushes. Yeah, I do not have the, oh no, this is, I know which one's that, but I do have this one here and that one there, so. All right, so. Now we're gonna rinse off our rinse it off. product. that's a nice shot to see kind of how dead that surface is on the wheel before we coat it. So once we coat it, all that water that's stuck on the surface there will start to disperse, yeah. giving you that easy cleaning and all that stuff we want to see. And I always try to rinse it like a couple times because, you know, you're going to get some extra you know, out of the lug nuts area and all the different spots, the yeah. nooks and crannies. So I always try to tell everyone just, you know, do a double rinse, do a triple rinse, make sure all your chemicals are off. Especially for us right now, if we're not gonna neutralize it with something like a G-Wash, then we wanna make sure as much of that chemical is gone as possible. Okay. <clears throat> cool. So at this point, you probably wanna dry the wheel off. Um, Probably what do you mean? Do one of these. Yeah.
have to grab some more towels, but okay. not a big deal. So, so right now I'm just drying it off, making sure all the water and stuff is off before we do our panel wipe. Okay. Um, panel wipe, you know, you don't really want to necessarily dilute it. That makes sure you're getting all the sealants or any leftover contamination that might be left on the surface. Um, that panel wipe typically will get it off. So getting all this water dried up, super important. Make sure you get the best bond possible. And also on top of that, you don't want to get water in with, while you're doing your ceramic coating. That'll create like almost an instant heart, like high spot. Okay. So you just want to be make sure you're that you know, anytime you do a coating, every nook and cranny of the car is blown out. Yeah. You know, as as you know, uh, you, you could any water you could be doing a, a spot and then a drip comes down, oh. and that drip turns into a crystal. Yeah. Just like that, <laughs> just from the water and the humidity. So, um, let's take a quick five minute break. Okay. Let this dry all the way, and then we'll come back, hit it with the panel wipe, and we'll get it coated. Let's do it. Cool. We've got some. Yeah, we're still drying up. Yeah. You can either wait or you can just keep, you know, using towels if you want or air. Yeah. There's just so much water still in there. Yeah. This wheel is just dead. Nothing on it. It's even got like a film mm -hmm. stuck to it. Do you got some tire dressing or something like that? Yeah. You do? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so at this point, we should um, correct the wheels or? So, very dependent on the customer and the vehicle, I would say. Um, you know, with something like this, they definitely have that option. The wheel's not in perfect condition anymore at this point. Um, it's got some micro marring and scratches and things like that. So that's definitely a, an added value you can offer to your customer, but you don't have to paint correct a wheel to coat it. Okay. You know, that's not, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, would it help with the strongest bond possible? Sure, of course. Just like with paint correction, right? So um, you're removing all that dead clear coat, all that dead surface, right? So mm -hmm. if you want to really impress your customer, yes, absolutely polish the wheel. But if it's just a daily driver, like this car probably is, then I would probably just coat right over it on those okay. faces because the customer is just going to be blown away by the results either way. Because um, you just took a, a very dirty wheel, made it clean, and gave it some protection. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. The other thing I noticed is, obviously, with the ceramic coating, like the brake dust is kind of easy, you know, to remove from the wheel. So for maintenance purposes, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I mean, typically what I tell customers with once you coat your wheels is it'll reduce the brake dust about in half. So about half as much will stick. It's still gonna stick, it's still gonna get dirty, but it's not gonna get as dirty as quickly. So, and then once you do go to clean it, it's so easy to clean. Nothing's really sticking, nothing's embedded to the surface, um, which I think is super important because wheels can get very gross yeah. very quick. Yeah. Yeah. So, to get things started next, we're gonna do our panel wipe. Okay. So, panel wipe is a prep product that'll remove any oils residues, anything that might be left behind on that surface okay. to ensure it's perfectly clean for a strong bond with the coating. Okay, perfect. All right. Let's do it. Cool. All right, so now with this one here, we should... I like... would spray on your towel. Okay, on the towel. Yep, spray. Let me use that one yeah. because this one here is wet. So, yep. so anytime you use panel wipe, um, I always recommend spraying on the towel. I always recommend to turn this on. <laughs> You also have to turn the yeah, sprayer yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, that helps. Sure. That helps so you, a lot. You only need a little bit. That's it? That's it. Okay. That's all you need. And so, you know, with panel wipe, guys, you just got to be careful and know that it's a solvent-based prep product. So with the solvent-based prep product, it's got a high flash point. So that product, you just need a quick wipe, and that flash is going to remove all that stuff off the surface.
I don't know if you can tell, Tony, but there's that film that was on there. It almost looks like that film is coming off. Yeah. From that, that panel right. wipe. So I'm just guessing here, but I'm assuming there was some sort of protection on this wheel at one point. Oh, okay. And that's the failed protection that we're wiping off oh. now with that panel wipe. So again, that's very important to make sure you're using the right stuff to prep the wheel so that way the coating bonds as it should. Now in this case, we are just doing the face of the wheel. This is another thing, like if my customer wants wheels off, we can always do that as well. Absolutely, and, yeah. and again, that's added value for, for exactly. you in your shop and for the customer, you know, is you're adding liability also in that scenario. You're taking the wheels off. You're mm -hmm. not a mechanic. Correct. You're a detailer, right? Yes. So mechanics have insurance and all these different things just mm -hmm. in case, what if you forget to tighten the lug nut? That's right. Right, so, yes. you know, make sure guys, if you're gonna offer those services, you're following the right steps, being safe about it, yep. have the right insurance, all that kind of stuff. Now, the other question here is, it doesn't have to be a detailer. Right? Yeah. Because, I mean, we are teaching people right now how to do it. Yeah. So, like, anybody can buy the product. Yeah. From you guys, from Car Supplies, Car Supplies Warehouse. Warehouse yep. Using Ralda 10 code, so <laughs> you guys can save some money. Absolutely. And, uh, so yeah, it's, you don't have to be a detailer. And with, with C5, the coating we're going to put on here, it is very, very friendly to work with. Um, yep. It is very easy to apply, and we're going to show you guys how easy it is to apply. Now, the question here is, should we uh, use the coating first or the tire? This is the tire shine, right? Yep. Okay, yep. So this is actually a new formula, the T1 version 2. Um, a lot of the new tires on the market are synthetic blend tire. Mm -hmm. So with those synthetic blend tires, a lot of the tire dressings are getting rejected. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're getting so much sling and all that stuff, yeah. right? So we had to kind of reformulate this so that it bonds not only to rubber, but synthetically blended rubber. Oh. Um, so this gel will bond to every type of tire. And what's cool about it is you can level it to your desired finish. Mm -hmm. So if you like it matte, satin, or glossy, you can kind of add more, take off more, whatever you want to do to get that finish where you want it. Okay. I would do C5 first, get the, coat, car, uh, the wheels coated first, Mm -hmm. um, that way you're not getting, just in case if you accidentally touch the, uh, the tire with your applicator, whatever, you don't want to get any mix and match product in your application mm -hmm. process. So I would coat the wheels first and then do your tire shine later on. How long? For how long you should, if, should wait? If it was up to me, I would try to wait about four hours. Four hours, yeah, minimum. If, if, okay. if you can, um, you know, and, and obviously there are some scenarios where some guys might, you know, just be like, hey, I'm a DIYer. I just want to do it and get it done. And it's yeah. like, hey, I get it, you know, yeah. then that's fine. Just keep in mind, keep in the back of your head, just be careful. Yeah. You know, okay. you can do it, it's fine. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything. So let's, uh, let's, let's get it going. In there. So you're gonna open your box. You've got your little throwaway applicators with your master instructions sheet. Um, I love these little throwaway applicators, guys. That's gonna help you um, from using too much. Right, so less is more in, with G-Technic. We're not gonna tell you to use more because you don't necessarily need it. And then you got your bottle, C5. So, I always like to shake it up. You like to shake it up? I always like okay. to shake it up, just a habit. Okay, it's uh, a habit, yeah. it's not a, that you need to do it. No, or, okay. it's just a habit, I'm a detailer. And I was gonna ask that, you yeah. know? Because <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a habit, I mean, you know, this stuff gets shipped all around the world, so it gets yes. kind of naturally mm. shooken up, but okay. I always just try to do it just in case. Um, so with C5, you get this nice little stem so that you can very easily dispense it out of the bottle, unlike with some of our other coatings that come with the pipette. Yeah. So okay. that's really nice. So with this, in your bag, you get your little G-Technic sticker, and you've got four applicators one yeah. for each wheel right now let's i just want to talk a little bit about this if you're a professional detailer sure. and you do this every day if you want if you don't want to spill this thing you got your little nice um coating uh rack over here from the bees rack so really nice with this applicator guys you're gonna have two sides there's this fiber side okay. it's like a weave and then there's the cotton side always make sure you use the cotton side if you use this side on the back, it's going to fall apart. 
Okay. And you're gonna get cotton stuck on the wheel. Oh, okay. So you always wanna make sure you use that cotton side. And th these applicators, believe it or not, the chemist found to apply this product the best. Okay. So, you know, if people think it's weird, they're like, oh, I like my sponge applicator. That's okay. You can use it technically, but again, this is gonna help you not overuse the product. Okay. Right? So that's key. This is a quartz space coating. So with a quartz space coating, you can very easily over apply a quartz space coating. Okay. And over time, what it'll do is you'll see those quartz space crystals looks like a white powder almost, okay. especially with things like trim, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so always recommend typically to use the applicators that come with the product. Okay. You know, we, we do, G-Technic goes as far as finding the right applicators to lay down the product mm -hmm. perfectly, right? Okay. So that's what I always tell everybody. Um, so just, you know, use what comes with it and you shouldn't have any issues. You don't need a lot. Look at that, got a nice little oh. quartz ring from sealing up the bottle. That's pretty cool. Right there. <laughs> All right, so I like to start inside the spokes. And what I really like too about C5 is the solvent that they put in it is different. And that solvent gives you a really nice work time. So your flash time gives you enough time to coat your whole face without having to rush, right? Oh, okay, okay. So that's, that's really key. You know, everyone always asks like, what's the difference between this and that? Isn't it the same? It's like, no, it's actually different. There's different solvents, there's different carriers in the delivery system. And it's all very dependent on the substrate that you're putting it on. Okay. Um, so with the wheel being intricate, we gave it a, a different solvent so okay. that you have more work time. Awesome. So that's sit about good to know. Quarter of the wheel, add a little bit more. Again, you know, this this applicator is allowing me to have full control of, over this tiny little bit of products that I put on here. You know, whereas if you got like a sponge applicator, you got to load that baby up because you gotta get the product out of the sponge, right? Mm -hmm. So this, this again, to me, simplifies your application. So about how long it gives you before the coating start kind of giving you, is this gonna give you any rainbow effect or is it gonna start separating, sweating? What is it gonna do? So you're gonna start to see that sweating. That's the G-Technic mm -hmm. look that you wanna see when it comes for our coatings. Um, so you're gonna see the texture from the applicator that you use to apply to the surface and you'll see the lines slowly start to separate. As those lines slowly start to separate and you see that dotting effect, that's when you wanna start wiping. Okay. So, as you can tell, kind of in that first area we started, it's still not even really there yet. So it's giving you a lot of time. A that's lot good. of workability time. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my favorite things about this product is just how easy it is to use. Now, let me put my hands on it, if you don't mind. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> there you go. That was too much, I believe. That's no. okay. That's okay? That's okay. okay. Get it on there. Can I see these? Let's rock them out. Is this gonna change the appearance of the rim? So I, I would like to say it adds depth. Okay. So it adds flavor, right? It's gonna take that black and just darken it, mm -hmm. give it a little bit of gloss, nothing crazy. Um, the big thing with C5 is we had to make sure that it, you know, if you put it on a satin wheel, it stays satin. 
Oh, okay. You put it on a matte wheel, it stays matte, right? Mm -hmm. So that's huge for us as we had to make sure um, that we're not changing the look for the customer because the customer might have paid X amount of thousands of dollars for that finish. You don't want to ruin yeah. it. So um, at this point, we've almost waited two minutes. So I'm going to say let's go ahead and start leveling it off. Okay. Here we go. So that, that black towel there is our MF6 Haze Buster. Should we do any pressure or just... Um, very light pressure. Very light pressure. Very light pressure. You're just leveling off the excess coating. And I'm asking all these questions because I want to make sure that anybody, or like if you are not a detailer, I want you guys to get the information. Just to, just to kind of show everybody. That's about all the product we use, guys. Not a lot, right? Yeah. So this is a 30 mil or 15 mil? That looks like 30. This is a 30 mil. 30. Okay, so this is a bigger bottle. So this bigger bottle, C5, I mean, as you can tell, if you're not doing barrels, you're gonna get multiple sets of wheels out of this bottle. So I think that's key too, as a detailer, as a DIYer, you wanna do your wife's car, you wanna do your friend's car, yeah. you wanna help somebody out, make their life easier. Um, C5 is a great bang for your buck, is what I tell everyone. Yeah. It's fairly inexpensive and you get a lot out of it. Okay, should we buff it off? After we level it up, or we just like an it? just like an extra, like yeah, yeah. So what I always do is I, I call it the insurance towel. Okay. So you insurance can level towel. it with one towel. So mm -hmm. you did the first towel. Yep. Now here's your second one. All right. And that's just to like, hey, let's make sure I took care of the customer, right? Yes. Or take care of my wheel or whatever it is. So um, that'll give you a nice indicator that you didn't leave any high spots. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, as you know. That towel costs you what a dollar, yeah. two dollars, right? If you're charging a customer, you know, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars to coat their wheels, whatever it is, yeah. I mean, eat that cost. Okay. Use a new towel, you yes. know, all that kind of stuff is it's very important, right? Just take care of your customer. They're paying you for a service. Yes. So because we are building our reputation as well, so we're gonna do the best for our customers. Absolutely. Wow. I like it. It looks like a different wheel. <laughs> yeah. So from now, we should wait about four hours before we apply any dressing to the tire in order to not cross contaminate. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I mean, the, the coatings, you know, just like with most coatings, you want them to air out and cure. Mm -hmm. um, typically with a quartz based coating, you want to give it at least four to six hours to cure out depending on your humidity and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so with it being such a perfect temperature today, Okay. Um, this is going to, you know, this would be a six hour wait time, I would say, before I apply my tire shine. Um, and mainly reason being is just because you don't want to ruin the integrity of that coating Correct, that you yeah. just put on. Yeah. Um, so, it, you know, typically what I tell people is, you know, put the wheel coating on at night before you go home, mm -hmm. come back in in the morning, put your tire shine on for delivery. Okay. You know, yeah. that, that way it's, it's ready to go it's for the It's going to be the last step. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So. Is it like putting the cherry? cherry on top yeah absolutely yeah all right let's cap this up all right so now we are in a different wheel and we're just gonna kind of show you guys the uh, tire dressing t1 yep. w2 t1 version 2 version 2 okay. version 2 so this is a tire gel okay so this is a much thicker than normal tire dressing okay you got your fancy ap3 g technic applicator all so right. this is a great multi-use applicator. You can use it on tires. A lot of guys will use it when they coat leather on okay. the seats or the dash. So this is a nice kind of all-in-one foam applicator. Okay. About that or more? It's up it's to you. Up to, okay. It's up to let's, you. Let's, let's see. Let's play with it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, okay. Siri, check, check, cut it out. Okay. I think and a lot of more. it too is going to depend on how well the tire is being taken care yeah, of. Yeah, that's right. Because the tire is going to absorb a lot of product if it's you know been sitting for a while. Okay, so with this applicator, you can easily get into all the cracks you know yep 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 pretty and, good so and we do actually have a new applicator okay it's called ap4 
and it actually is shaped like a hexagon. Okay. And it has a handle on it. So it's very easy to use when it comes to this application. Um, unfortunately, don't have one with me. Oh, okay. Uh, but this is another, this was the first option that people had, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to applying. And this is the reason why we don't want to do, yep. you know, we want to wait because we can easy, you know, mess up the, uh, the coating. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Very important to get into that area right there. Yep. Yeah. Let's use some more. So, so far, pretty easy. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. It's really good. And it's always recommended to use gloves. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I always recommend using gloves, especially when doing tire shines and things like that. Yeah. There's a lot of different chemicals in that and you know, letting it get into your, your skin and all that kind of stuff. It's just better to wear gloves. Something I noticed with this sponge as well, like it's not kind of getting messed up or anything like that so far, you know, like. Yep. The applicator. Kinda, the applicator, yeah. Yeah, it's hold, it holds together pretty well. Yeah. And this is a fairly knobby tire. It's not mm -hmm. like a smooth tire by any yeah. means. So it's definitely a nice little applicator. So as you guys kind of watch Tony work it in, you can kind of tell that as he adds more, you know, he can put it in that nice gloss finish. But then at the end, if we want, we can essentially level that off to a nice matte at the end. Okay. So it just really depends on what look you want to go for for the customer or for what you like for photos, mm -hmm. right? So if you're doing a photo, what do you typically like to do? Shiny. Shiny? Yeah. Cool. But my personal preference, I don't like too shiny. I don't yeah. like too shiny. So for sure. I will grab a microfiber towel at and this point and oh, I can let it sit, sit there for a as little well bit. Yep. and just you know, let the product I'm, do I'm it. a big fan when I do do tire shine because I don't like tire shine typically. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a big fan of letting it sit uh -huh. for a little bit and then coming back and, okay. and making sure it's level, you know, because you get spots where it's a little down low, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. Just touch it up, make it nice and perfect. And then obviously you probably do it too where you drive the car forward like a foot yep, yep. to make sure you get the bottom all the way. To take care of that area. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. Um, very easy to use product. Um, how much did you use? Was there a lot on there? or Not really, like it was not much, I would say. Is there a still full bottle still in there? full. Crazy. Yeah. So, you know, again, very nice product. You know, it all kind of depends on you and what you like and mm -hmm. your desired finish. Okay. So at this point, let's give it a, a minute, come back, level it off a little bit maybe, mm -hmm. and uh, go from there. Awesome. Cool. All right, guys, so we are almost there. And just to kind of mention again, like the products that we use. Sure. So just a quick recap, guys. What we did, we've got our W2, our multi-purpose cleaner. So we use that on the rubber around the tire. And then we use our iron fallout remover on the wheels. After we rinse that off real good, dry the wheel really good, we came back and we use our panel wipe. Panel wipe will get all anything left over, removed from the surface for the best, strongest bond possible with the C5. So then we came in with our little bottle of C5 here. Have that there, one applicator, because we only did the one wheel. And we've still got three more for the other three wheels. And then you also have your T T1, which lays down very, very, very nice in your AP3 applicator. So again, you have everything you need within the G-Technic line to accomplish the task. And we actually even have a new wheel coating kit that you can buy with all of these items in one box. All right, guys, so with that being said, I really enjoy kind of doing this video together, you know. Thank yeah, you, absolutely. I really appreciate you guys. And guys, don't forget to visit the base here in Chicago and Car Supplies Warehouse. If you guys want to order any products, make sure to use Royal the 10. All right? So, yeah, buddy, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I really appreciate you. All See right. you next time. Like, share, subscribe. All right?